guys, Michael here. Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to take this small piece of box elder maple that was given to me. Uh, I got a, a couple trees worth of this stuff. Um, this is just a small piece that I'm going to test out and see what I can make out of it. So stick around and let's see what we can make. Okay, got a piece of box elder maple here. It's pretty small, but uh, we might be able to make like a little hollow form or a lidded box. We'll see once we start getting some of the bark off. We'll see what it wants to be. Okay, we got it all cleaned up, got the bark off. We're starting to see some of that red coloring. Now I'll put a tenon on it so we can get it chucked up and mounted securely. All right, we have the tenon on. Now it's time to get it mounted into the chuck and start to refine the shape. Here I'll use some 80 grit sandpaper just to take out some of the minor tear out. I'll remove the tailstock and continue to refine the shape of the top. Once I have the top of the form refined, I'll give that a quick sanding. I just sanded the piece up to 320. Now I'll put some sanding sealer on. The sanding sealer will give us a sneak peek at what the final grain pattern will look like. It'll also seal and raise the grain so that I can finish sanding and buffing. We'll let it sit till it's dry and come back and sand through the grits. Now that the sanding sealer is dry, I'll go through the grits from 320 to 600. I start to polish the piece with Triple E buffing compound, followed up by white diamond buffing compound then finish it off with wax and buffing. 
let's stop the lathe and have a look at what we got. It's looking pretty good. Now let's get to hollowing. Now I'll slide the tool rest out of the way. And bring up the tailstock with a Forstner bit so I can start coring out the center and get the hollowing process started. Take a quick measurement and begin the coring. This allows me to get into the form with the hollowing tools a little easier. Now we're ready to move the tool rest to the front of the form and begin the hollowing process. During the hollowing process, I take compressed air every once in a while and blow out the sawdust so the tool doesn't get hung up. I also use my finger to check the progress of the hollowing. Once I get close to the final thickness, I take lighter and more careful cuts and stop more frequently to check the thickness. Then I finish off by sanding and polishing the top of the form and a little bit on the inside. The form is now ready to be parted off, so I'll move the tool rest to the side and use the parting tool to start the process. I finish up with a flush trim saw so the piece doesn't come flying off the lathe. Here's the finished form, what do you guys think? Alright guys, well that turned out pretty good for not knowing what I was going to do. But anyway, here's the final hollow form. It's small, but it has a lot of figure and a lot of color. Um, and I, I love it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'll put some pictures up at the end so you can have a closer look. Again, thank you guys so much for all the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. It's been great. Um, I love to hear from you guys. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming up soon.